Hi, Erin James here with Crafty Housewife Yarns, and I'm doing an impromptu review video on two affordable spinning wheels, because I know a lot of people, myself included, you start knitting, and then you fall down the rabbit hole, which is hand-spun yarn, and then you're like, spinning wheels, that looks fun. And then you see how much they cost, and all of the parts that go with them, and you have a heart attack, and you're like, never mind, I won't do that. But uh, then you start looking around for an affordable spinning wheel that's also a good starter wheel and, you know, like it could be fun to find one at a yard sale and then like nurse it back to health with love and the right parts. But if you're starting spinning, that could be scary and disastrous. So these were two that I have that I feel like were both affordable and uh, also they were great to learn on. So I just... I wanted to do a quick video on it. Uh, actually, my business has expanded so much that I needed help. <laughs> We've expanded. So uh, one of my wheels, I had to get a second one. Um, now I have a third one, but uh, <laughs> I initially got the second one so that I could give the first one to somebody that is going to be helping me. So like I said, we've expanded and gotten employees. So before the Lewitt goes to live with its new home to be cranking out more yarn, for my business, I wanted to do a side-by-side -side review video, so bear with me with the camera angles. The wheels I wanted to talk about was my very first wheel, and I love it very much, and I'm sorry if the label's flipped backwards because this is video, was the uh, Lewitt S17. It is a super cool, simple-looking wheel, and I love it because it's got this big, solid wheel in the back, which if you have cats or toddlers or dogs or a clumsy husband or whatever, not having the spokes was very appealing to me because like, you know, little fingers can't get stuck in there. So, and it's got a single treadle, which I know some people don't like. I liked the single treadle just fine and found it very smooth and I will demo that in a second. And it also comes with these lovely giant bobbins, which uh, this is what Lewitt considers a four ounce bobbin, which is huge. And I have another rambly video about how I actually got spoiled with these giant bobbins, but uh, that's a story for another day. You'll have to look that video up. But it's got a lazy Kate that hangs out here on the side which is really nice because it's easy to ply from and uh, you know it's nice because you don't have to buy a lazy Kate and it's got a really smooth sort of sm smooth turning action here and the Lewitt is an Irish tension wheel which uh, excuse me if I get some of this wrong but the general idea of an Irish tension wheel is that it's bobbin led meaning that this part is what is turned and you'll see here with the uh, the drive band that goes around the actual bobbin and so the bobbin is what is turning and that's what's powering the twist in the yarn and that's on a like I said an Irish tension wheel which I think are kind of out of vogue at the moment but I loved it I felt that the intake was a little bit stronger which worked out good for me and it was great uh, like I said to start with I didn't feel like my yarn was constantly like breaking and falling apart so I really really liked that um, and then it's got the hooks here on the side so that, you know, the yarn when you're spinning it comes out, and this is my like leader thread, comes out through there. And uh, then it's got this little neat uh, hook orifice where you kind of shove this down in there. And it pops out there and you can adjust the tension with this uh, strap that it's just a leather strap that comes over the top and I always left it really loose I found that you know that it helped cut down on the wear and tear on it and I also that was just like I said you got to play with your own tension but uh then that's where the tension goes through and you spin like that it's got three speeds this is on the highest and then there's two more um I used the biggest the fastest one and then the middle one were the two I used the most on that and this wheel, I believe, is around 12 or 13 pounds, somewhere in there. So it's not that heavy. And you can see in comparison to me, it's not that uh, wide. So you ca I did travel with this wheel, but, um, you know, it is, like I said, it kind of, it doesn't fold or anything. So, you know, depending on the size of your car, it could be aggravating. But it is, could technically be good. I took it, like I said, to all sorts of things, and you just can pick it right up with that and about throw it over your shoulder and tote it off with you. So that was the Lewitt, and I loved, loved it. So that one is going to uh, go on to make more yarn for Crafty Housewife Yarns. So that is the Lewitt. 
And then this little guy is what I just got, is the Spinolution, and you can see kind of the size difference there. They're actually, as far as the spinning mechanisms, there's the same size. The biggest difference is the uh, wheel size. This one's got a smaller wheel, and it is technically a travel wheel. It comes apart here. And uh, this one is the Spinolution brand uh, Polywog. And it does come with attachments you can get, which makes it taller and bigger, and I will eventually uh, get those and do a video on it. An accelerator and then a like big 12 ounce drum that would sit up here. But I love this wheel exactly like it is. And since I was talking about affordability, oh, um, this one is very affordable and this is the base model. This is everything that comes in it so you don't have to, you know, not showing you anything you would have to buy extra. And um, this little guy is a double treadle. And I, it's got, like, the cutest little double treadle action ever. Like, check that out. It, it's so nice. And I'm mildly obsessed with the double treadle on this. It is the smoothest, uh, nicest, you can see the ball bearing action there, uh, double treadle wheel. And it does, uh, you know, you can easily unbolt this if you want to take it apart to make it more portable. But, uh, honestly, it's so little and light. It weighs, like, 11 pounds. Uh, I just got back from going to pick up my kids at the grandparents. And because I had some work to do, just uh, tossed this in the back of my little hatchback, and uh, it worked out quite well. This is a uh, one thing I was apprehensive with getting a different type of wheel because I loved the Irish tension so much. This one, the Spinolution ones, are all technically Scotch tension, which means that they are not bobbin led. The uh, bobbin stays still, you know, it doesn't move as much, and the wheel is what uh, turns it. As you see here so that this part is what's going around more so than this part so that's the main difference there so I was very apprehensive about that but um, like I said I've been incredibly happy I tried other scotch tension brands and I really didn't like the uptake I really like the uptake on the Spinolution brand which is uh, why I was very happy when I was looking for a travel wheel I'm glad I went ahead and got the polywog it's got a little bit more versatility. You can get a tube orifice, which I don't have with me on camera, that looks very similar to that for this one. And these are magnets. That's the other thing I love about the Spinolution ones is they're all like magnet closure. So this pops right on with the magnets and you've got a little hook. And I was scared of the hook at the beginning, I must admit, but uh, I love it now. It's great for art yarn and it's super easy. You just do it like that and uh, you don't have to like cram it through a hole or you know anything like that so it's just super easy 